Hello again, everyone. Edwin Leonard back once again in this YouTube astrological segment. I'm going to be talking about transit and Mars making a square opposition or in conjunct aspect to one's natal Venus. Now, when we're talking about uh, transits that involve Mars, this could be about our, um, our energy, uh, courage, um, fortitude, drive, motivation, anger, initiative, and enterprise. Now, when the transit of Mars is basically making an adverse aspect to the natal Venus, when we're, I'm so what I'm talking about, I want to elaborate on when I say basically adverse aspect. Uh, what I'm saying is that the square and oppositions, of course, in astrology, those aspects are adverse and negative. The in conjunct can be seen as neutral, but when you're talking about in conjunct aspects in astrology, um, it can involve you know an adjustment, transition. It may um, be, and when you have to make an adjustment on something, it can be exasperating and tensionful. So I do see this, I mean, collectively, basically an adverse aspect uh, to the natal Venus. Now, when this, uh, when you have uh, the transit of Mars, again, making basically the adverse aspect to natal Venus, this can manifest in energy, vitality, courage, fortitude, drive, motivation, anger, um, initiative and enterprise that might conflict uh, with what uh, you enjoy and maybe it's harder to take the initiative to take uh, to have enterprise show enterprise in matters what what are fun for us and what we enjoy at this time maybe there's some acrimony there's some anger issues one has to contend with and it's harder it, it makes it harder to enjoy things or to love the things that you truly enjoy it might impact uh, relationships it could be something you're lamenting over say if the transit mars is in cancer um it can be something where maybe you're lamenting over a past hurt and you just can't seem to eradicate the memory and it might be strongly impacting what you love to do what you enjoy and even your, your relationships which can include i mean could be a significant other a romantic partner even an important friendship um, this is also Venus is connected with our uh, money and possessions and resources so this could be also a time where you don't really maybe feel the drive or the energy and the, the vital the vitality to deal with these things at this time and, and having the enthusiasm even to make money if you're in a situation you know where you know if you're not maybe the, your work situation has been somewhat erratic and you, you know you need something where you need to make more money it can be at a net you know, really adverse because transit because you might not really have that drive to do so uh, at this time to generate income now the thing about this too um venus is also connected with our values and what we value and this could be a harder period to really maybe you know Mars is about courage or fortitude and, and standing up for what what one values if we've been someone's been criticized for the things maybe they put emphasis on what they value in their life maybe it's harder to fight back to make a stand over it at this time uh, Venus is also connected with our self-worth our, our self-esteem and how we feel about ourselves so it can be also a time where you know maybe there's some issues with energy and vitality that are you know somehow negatively impacting your, your self-worth or self-esteem or matters with courage and fortitude that are, are playing a role in this are factoring in how you feel about yourself maybe there was a situation you thought you could have shown more courage and fortitude in and you didn't do it and this is what's the result is you're feeling you know, bad about yourself at this time could also be that you know some contentious situation or fight or argument you know an irritant might be negatively impacting your peace and tranquility at this time of again going back to zodiac sign cancer or even if the transit mars in the fourth house it could be something home related something on the domestic front uh in the four Mar, Mar, transit mars in the fourth house it could even be somebody you know you're close to home with it could be you know the less dominant parent which is often the mother and um, anatomically uh venus is connected with the throat the neck uh the lower back kidneys and the thyroid so in some cases, you know, if you have any issues with these, 
they might be causing you know it might be irritating you more and more so than usual sometimes it, this could be you know a transit of surgery if that is the case remember it's an you know an ad basically an adverse aspect surgery can actually be good if it needs something needs to be taken care of but it's something that really people don't really generally look forward to mars is associated with surgery um and the thing about this transit too is um keep in mind i mean mar i mean venus is also about uh, negotiation and compromise so it might be a little harder to be able to do that at this point in time to find a reconciliation or some peace or, or compromise in a situation given that you're having the transit mars the planet of anger and acrimony really um you know causing you know an issue with this perhaps and also mars is connected with action so it can be harder in taking action in these matters at this time for whatever reasons and uh, Venus is also connected with lawsuits, legalities, and legal matters. So and again, I mean, you have it, you know, basically, you know, the adverse aspect, aspect from Mars hitting, you know, um, you know, with Venus at this time, and you know, of course, adverse aspects there cause more difficulty. It could be, you know, a situation where it might be maybe you don't have to drive the motivation if you're, you know, if you're planning on a lawsuit in trying to do something legally about something you might find it harder to get the energy the vitality that drive and that motivation to do so uh, at this time um, if Venus your natal Venus is in Scorpio it could be over an insurance or tax related uh, matter um, you know maybe there's some wrongful death suit that you want to file as another example of uh, the natal Venus is in Scorpio now Another thing is that this could also, um, you know, one way this transit could manifest, it could be not being motivated or driven, again, reiterating what I was saying before, but to do the things you truly enjoy and love. And let's say, for example, the natal Venus is in Aries. It can be about, um, it could be something with combat sports or playing some military board games, <laughs> welding, cycling, carpentry. Uh, perhaps these things might not be as enjoyable as what they were ordinarily um, because you maybe you don't have the drive and motivation to be doing them uh, the situation also I mean it, it, you might this could also be expressed this transit in a contentious situation with a significant other a marriage partner could even be an important friendship say if the transit Mars is in Pisces it may be something over with deception or betrayal at this time or maybe somebody being overly passive or weak-willed um having escapist tendencies not you know not willing to you know confront situations and also this transit may manifest in a greater propensity for accidents at this time i would say as far as adversely affecting the ability to make money remember venus is about money mars could be about accidents um if your natal Venus is in Taurus, as an example, it could be making money as a stockbroker or doing pawnbroker work, banking, um, architecture, agriculture, some examples. Um, it could also be about issues, you know, with um, going back to what I was saying previously, the issues with, you know, confrontation or, you know, not willing to, to get into an argument with somebody it might adversely affect your self-worth your self-esteem and how you feel about yourself at this time uh say for example if the transit mars is in gemini maybe there's something with plagiarism or theft or some kind of malicious mischief and um you know that happened that affected you um and it was something where you just didn't want to confront you know the person or people you were suspicious that was behind this um, and maybe that impacted your self-worth and how you felt about yourself now another thing too is that um, this could Mars can also be about physical injuries so physical injury in some cases may conflict even with sensual sex remember that Venus I mean Mars is about sexual sexuality and sexual energy but Venus can be connected with sex sensual sex if the um, hold on a moment people
say for um, example of the natal um, sorry if the transit Mars is in Libra it could be issues with the lower back or kidneys maybe that's impacting you know some kind of performance this way uh, sexually and again going back to the fact that Mars is also associated with surgery it can be something you know, on something Venus related on the throat it could be you know, the neck or the esophagus um, thyroid uh, lower back kidneys this could also be something too where there might be complications with money as far as surgery goes remember Mars again is connected with surgery Venus is about money um, the money may not be there it might be harder to actually you know get the funds in order to have uh, the surgery performed if indeed in isolate you know isolated cases this will be this can manifest in that surgery but the, again I would say they're very isolated and I would say it'd be even more you know greater propensity for this with the in conjunct uh, transit because the in conjunct uh, aspects can often be uh, health related and if transit Mars is making an in conjunct aspect in natal Venus it could increase that that possibility I would say so anyway people that'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment until next time people Edwin Leonard saying stay well